Hey everybody, Dave really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on Subaru Oshima's path on Chapter 7 for Eternity. I think maybe we finally get have gotten or are getting the misunderstanding straightened out. We're going to understand that we're actually in love with each other and it's not fake. Please. God, I hate misunderstanding so much. I know I've been saying this for like the last three chapters. I think I'm going to be able to finish reading this tonight, although I'm not sure when they're going to be processed and uploaded, but that will be as soon as possible. All right, let's get a uh, move on. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. He dragged me out into the darkened nighttime streets. Where are you taking me? I asked, making Subaru stop in his tracks. Sorry I pulled you out of work, and for dragging you out like this. My work was already over anyway, it's just... That was really rude of Ryohei. Why do you care? Do you like him? His grip on my arm tightened, cutting off blood to my arm. Huh? I had a bad feeling ever since I talked to him yesterday. It sounded like he's into you, and I wouldn't be surprised if you felt that way about him either. Just thinking about you two together and falling in love made me sick. I had to come stop it. That's why I ran here as fast as I could. Subaru wasn't serious about me, so what excuse did he have to get in my way in the first place? You dummy! Get a clue! I work with Ryohei. It's nothing more, nothing less than that. He released his iron grip on my arm. You and I were only dating to finish our song. I've already said that I'm done with you. Oh, stab him in the heart. It's none of your business who I talk to anymore. I'm not done with you, though. I'm sick and tired of pretending to be lovers. What do you care? I'm no use to you anymore. It's not about that. Our voices crashed and roared as the argument heated up. It is, though. Isn't that why we started dating to begin with? I know, but you're too nice a person to refuse in the first place. I shouldn't have put you through all this. Then why did you? Can't you see? He grabbed my wrists and stared deeply into my eyes. No, I can't. You're risking so much just by dating me anyway. If it gets found out, your career is done for. As much as I used it as a point, I said it to convince myself it was too dangerous to continue. I don't care about all that. He screamed, his voice tearing through the night. Subaru lunged toward me and pulled me into his arms. I'm serious. His voice trembled weakly, and I barely heard it, though he was whispering right into my ear. Music and my career... It means nothing to me if I can't love you. What was he trying to say? Oh my god. He loved me? In what way? What do you mean by that? Hey, isn't that Ryo over there? What's he doing here? Attracted by our screaming match, some people turned their heads toward us to investigate. S Subaru. It'll be bad if we stay here. Come on. He took my hand in his, and we hurried away from the scene. Okay. I scrambled to keep up with him, but his legs were much longer than mine. Look, it's Ryo. Who's that girl he's with? Hearing the curious voices of people passing by, I feared this might become a huge incident. Subaru? Shouldn't we hide at my place? That would be our best option right now, but you don't mind? Subaru asked a bit reluctantly. It's fine. He looked extremely relieved to hear that. Thanks for letting me go back there again. Squeezing my hand, he gave me a gentle smile. Slam. Why am I always slamming the door? Can't we shut it gently? We could finally catch our breath after slamming the door behind us. It smells like you in here. I'm glad to be back. I was worried sick that I might not ever get to see you again. He released my hand and looked straight into my eyes. I'm sorry I ever made you cry. I'm sorry for ever loving you. Why would you apologize for something like that? To love should be a wonderful thing, so why did his eyes look so sad? If you don't want me anymore, just say it and I won't bother you again. But at least let me tell you how I really feel. This is not about music at all. I truly love you, from the bottom of my heart. But then why? I clenched my hand and formed a fist, so emotional that it trembled at my side. Why didn't you say so when I asked? Why didn't you tell me then? Because I interrupted him and said I didn't want to hear? Before I had tired of pretending to be lovers and asked if he really had feelings for me. At the time, he couldn't give me a straight answer 
instead fumbling for words, probably because he was embarrassed and needed some time to get it out. If he had said something to me then, I never would have told him I wanted to break up. Yeah, he needed a few minutes to get it straight, see? Like I said. I hadn't grasped my own feelings then. I wasn't thinking straight. Actually, I could have sworn he was sure about things by that point. In fact, much earlier. Plus, if I said it then, I was afraid that you might leave. What? Why? It would have been the opposite. Why? Because there's nothing good that comes out of dating me. How can you say that? I can't take you on normal dates, and we have to avoid people all the time. Yeah, but we have lots of fun where I learn to get her in my place. If the media finds out, the consequences will be brutal even for you. You agreed only to date me until I finished the song, right? You kept saying things like you were ready to get out of the relationship. I never imagined he would think that I meant it that way. Oh, you dummy. I was afraid you would reject me if I asked for anything more than what we had. It's the complete opposite. W what do you mean? He stared back at me with wide eyes. I'm the one that was afraid. I thought you were only using me to finish your song and nothing else. I thought once it was over, you would leave me high and dry and never see me again. Wait, are you telling me... Are you telling me you have feelings for me too? He asked incredulously. Yes, I'm really in love with you. Slowly I nodded my head. I loved you, and pretending every day to be lovers had been so hard for me. I had to be at your side always knowing that the end was slowly approaching. The more I was with you, the more I loved you, and the more it hurt to think about losing you. I'm sorry. His arms pulled me close into his chest. You were right here in front of me, but I never realized how you were feeling inside. We thought the same way about each other, but we never knew. His voice and arms trembled slightly as he held me. I was afraid of losing you too. The more I was with you, the more the song pieced itself together. But the last bit, it never came to me. I thought, if I just felt more of you, that it would come to me, but I was wrong. He let me go and looked down into my eyes. I couldn't finish the song because I was afraid of losing you. Taking my hand in his palm, he kissed the back of it. I thought he was finished a while ago and was just pretending to keep me around. But that makes sense, that he wouldn't be able to finish it because he was apprehensive. I didn't want what we had to end. You and I... We were just too afraid. We were just like each other. You're right. Subaru smiled back at me. Our hearts must be alike. That must be why we came together and fell in love. You and I. We should have just said what was on our minds. We could have avoided all this. I know. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself that. But I heard some artists fell in love just for work and dumped their lovers right after. I thought you were one of those people. I would never, but I can see why you might have thought that. Subaru scratched his cheek as if uncomfortable. And the owner said something like that too. That you go and experience things just to write your songs. It made it seem like you might ditch me too. I... Was that the original intention? He looked away, unsure of how to respond. Well, that... it's... Subaru was having trouble getting words out. Do I have to tell you about that? If it was this difficult to say, he must not want me to know about it. Is it some sort of secret? Not quite a secret, but it's just lame if you hear it. I figured it might be something about his love life. No, I can do this. I'll say it. Just don't look at me like that. The dubious look I gave him must have put him off. He led me to the living room sofa, where we sat down next to each other. This all happened way back in the past. He began telling me about his experiences he drew inspiration from, or his songs. I entered a marathon just to feel what it's like to be a runner. That one wasn't so bad. I went and rode a roller coaster to see how it feels to blast through the air. I once broke my one in the guitar to try and be an outlaw, worked my butt off to buy another. I stuffed all my belongings in one bag and started wandering until I fainted in the street. It's all just stupid embarrassing stuff that I've done. Hearing all of that was a bit unexpected, but it wasn't as embarrassing as he made it out. Terrible, isn't it? I bet you think I'm an idiot now. I think it's cute. <laughs> huh? Cute, you said. Knowing that there's a part of you like that makes me feel closer to you. 
R really Well, okay. Subaru let out a huge sigh, relieved that I hadn't judged him for what he'd done in the past. You see, when I'm around you, I'm always trying to look cool. It's not that easy to keep up an appearance. A bitter smile pulled at his lips. I feel stupid. I should have just trusted you and sat down and had a talk with you. And I'm sorry for thinking that you were the kind of person that would just use me. Our eyes met, and we chuckled at each other. All right, then. Ring. His phone began to ring. Huh? Ryohei is calling me? Both him and I least expected the phone call to be from Ryohei. I clutched at Subaru's arm, a bit nervous to know why. You want to hear? Yeah. I'll put it on speaker. He laid his phone down on the table and pressed the button so I could hear too. Hello? Subaru, it's Ryohei. Yeah. Is she with you? She's here. So, you two are dating after all. Are you sure you aren't just playing around? I'm not. I wouldn't do that to her. Really? It's hard for me to believe that. You seem like the kind of guy who put music before anything in his life. I can't imagine you throwing your passion for music aside and falling in love. My music isn't going anywhere. It's in my blood. No matter what happens, I'll never give it up. So, why did you stop in the first place? Because the lyrics weren't coming to me. Subaru told Yurohei about taking a break and dating me to get inspiration for his new song. At first, we were dating just for the song, but it turned into something different. With his eyes still focused on the phone, he reached over and laid his hand on top of mine. I fell in love with her soon after we met. She's the whole reason the song came to me. It was her that made me see it was a love song. But back then, I still hadn't realized I loved her and ended up hurting her. He withdrew his hand and wrapped it around my palm, joining our fingers and squeezing tight. I didn't know my own feelings until we broke up. But I'll never let her go now. I know better. She's invaluable to me. I need her for my music. No, I need her for my life. I can't imagine a life without her. In her, I found my one and only true love. So, you aren't going to break up with her? No. Then, what if... What if someone leaked a relationship to the media? Did you do that, Ryohei? I wondered how Subaru would deal with that. If that's what your plan is, go ahead and do it. His plan was to do nothing? Subaru smiled at me as if to calm my fear. There's nothing wrong with our love. True love makes the spirit shine brighter. My fans will understand that, if they just listen to my music. We'll see about that. Seriously, you're going to be that spiteful? I'll keep your secret for now, at least until I hear your song. If it doesn't leave an impact on me, then... Feel free to do whatever you want. Can I talk to her? Ryohei was asking about me. Mo? Well? Closing his hand over the microphone, Subaru asked me in a quiet voice. I still felt like I should apologize to Ryohei for leaving him suddenly at work. With that in mind as well, I nodded. Alright. Hello? I'm sorry for running out on you back at the studio. Don't worry about it. I said some pretty cool things to you. I had no idea you guys both had feelings for each other. Still, that doesn't change my opinion about what I said. It's dangerous for anyone to date a star, even you. I didn't argue him there. Ryohei had a perfectly valid point for opposing our relationship. You won't be able to hide backstage anymore. People will criticize and mock you to no end. Can you even handle that? Subaru looked at me, his face full of concern. This was my choice and the danger I may have to live with. I took a deep breath and squeezed his hand. I'm willing to take that risk. You're strong. Or is it your feelings for him have made you strong? Ryohei chuckled from the other side of the phone. Well, you don't have to worry about the outfit. I cleaned everything up in the studio. Thank you. You helped me once. I'm returning the favor. But just so you know, if his song doesn't do it for me. Since I don't support your relationship. His voice spoke menacingly through the phone. I could tell Ryohei was serious about his threat. Don't worry about that. Our love is going to make the greatest song you've ever heard. Subaru, you heard that? It was on speakerphone. You should have told me that. Sorry, my bad. You haven't changed, even if you are in love. 
Ryohei sighed, and I pictured him rolling his eyes. We'll see if her song is as good as you say it is. With that, he hung up the phone. I'm glad he's not going to say anything. Well, not yet at least. Yeah, but what he said is right. If you consider the risks in your future, it's not worth dating me. But you still say you want to? Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you. I love you. Subaru leaned in and kissed my cheek. No. What? His eyes shot open with surprise. Even if I said that, I knew you weren't going to take no for an answer anyway. So that's what you meant. Jeez, you scared me. Sorry, I wanted to see your reaction. Don't joke with me like that. You'll give me a heart attack. But you're right. I'd attack and convince you no matter how many times it takes. You don't have to. I already love you. Squeezing me tightly in his arms, Superdu's cheeks tinted slightly red. Good. His eyes drifted down to my neck. You're still wearing it. I, um... Embarrassed, I tried covering it with my hands. Oh, why bother now? He knows it's there. I just couldn't take it off. That's how much it meant to you, huh? He tucked my hand away from my neck. Why don't you try putting the ring on? While I had faithfully kept the necklace on at all times, I had never before worn the ring. Okay. When I nodded, Subaru slid the tiny ring off the silver chains of the necklace. The small platinum ring framed a sparkling diamond that glittered in the light. Man, it's expensive, huh? May I? Subaru slipped off the sofa and knelt on the ground. Um... My lady, your hand, please. He gently took my hand and beamed a glorious smile at me. I promise that forevermore, I'll protect you at all costs. The ring slid smoothly onto my finger, and then... I swear that my love for you will be everlasting. He kissed the finger now adorning the ring. Uh, my heart was pounding so fast, I didn't know what to do. And you? Um... Will you give me your love? Yes. Then, place your blessing upon me. He tapped his finger on his smirking lips. I, I promise. I felt so embarrassed with him staring at me like that, it was almost impossible to speak. I, I also promise to love you forever. <sighs> After speaking my pledge, I closed my lips and eyes and moved toward him. Mm? I was going to kiss him, but he pushed forward, closing on my lips before I had the chance to. Hmm... Wrapping his arms around me, he pressed his lips tightly against mine. <sighs> Subaru. Sorry, I jumped the gun. And I can't wait any longer. Uh, it feels different. Cradling me in his arms, he caressed my body as we laid on the sofa. It's not just pretend anymore. This is the real deal. W what You've been holding back every time? Yeah quite a bit to tell you the truth. Seriously? And he's like totally exhausted me so many times already? So, so what happens when you don't hold back? What's going to happen to me? I grabbed his hands to stop him, fearing I might not be able to handle it. Something amazing, probably. He slipped his hands out of my grip and began touching me all over. <laughs> it felt much more intense than ever before, making my body tingle all over. That's right, feel it. I'm going to make you sing. Subaru. We're making a song together, right? Yeah. Help me sing it. Help me feel it. Your love completes my song and my life. No one is going to tell me otherwise. I'm going to show everyone how important you are to me, how much I need you at my side. Help me show them. Help me prove them wrong. Say that you love me. Say that you want me. I... Before I even had the chance to finish... He plunged his lips down the top of mine. <sighs> you look so cute. Your eyes are sparkling. That's because of you. I what? You're loving me so much. Does that make you happy? He stroked my hair and whispered into my ear. Yes. Why? He asked, dotting my neck with kisses. Because I love you. He smiled as if hearing the answer he was waiting for. And I love you too. I'll love you forever and ever. Before morning, 
I had felt that love of his more times than I can count. Huh. <sighs> okay, yeah. Even though I don't usually like the sweet one so much, oh, just the passion and the fact that he's that good in bed. <laughs> Definitely gets me in his route. So, Chapter 8 is coming soon. Then we got our endings and our extras. So, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. To really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.